All right, today we are going to make some mini pizzas. With our mini pizzas, we are going to do those three ways. You can choose if you wanted to do that with uh, English muffin, you could do a bagel, or you could even do a flour tortilla. Any of those would be a great option for your mini pizzas. Uh, all pizzas need some sauce, so tomato sauce is what we're going to have, and you can add the spices of your choice to that. Uh, any good pizza is also going to have cheese, so you're going to use about one to one and a half cups of shredded cheese. Whatever cheese blend you like to use. Um, and your toppings. Really any topping will do work great for this. Olives would be great. Sliced mushrooms. Bell peppers. Green onions. Pineapple. You could do any meat toppings as well, like pepperoni, Canadian bacon, any of those would be good. The pizza I'm making today is going to end up being vegetarian because that's what I have at home. So you want to start off with a cookie sheet. I like to line it with foil so that it makes cleanup a lot easier and you're just going to place your bread product, whatever it is you're using, onto your cookie sheet. The next thing you want to do is add some spices to your sauce. Um, just store-bought tomato sauce is fine. Um, you can use whatever, any kind of spice that you want. Garlic powder is great for your pizza. A little bit of crushed red chili flake is great to use as well. And I like to add some Italian seasoning. Um, it's just got a good blend of some different herbs there and that's really tasty. So give that a good mix so that all of your spices are evenly distributed amongst your sauce. Once that is all the way mixed up, you're going to start adding sauce to your dough. Um, if you're doing more than one tray, you want to make sure that you're leaving a little bit so that your second tray of pizzas has enough sauce to do. So you can just use a spoon to spread the sauce around. You could even use a pastry brush or a basting brush to essentially paint that on as well. I used a spoon to mix up my sauce, so I thought I might as well just continue using that spoon and not get anything else dirty. Once you have all of your sauce spread around, if you're doing more than one tray, then you can move on to that tray and have that ready to go. If you are doing English muffins, bagels, and tortillas, uh, you want to keep those on two different trays. The tortilla is going to cook a lot faster than the English muffin will. The tortilla is pretty thin. So if you were to just have it all in one tray, the tortilla might burn by the time the English muffin or bagel is done cooking. So if you are doing multiple kinds of pizzas, you want to keep those separate for now. Once you're done spreading the sauce on your pizza, you are ready to start doing your cheese and toppings. I like to start with the cheese to give it just a little bit of a base um, so you're getting multiple cheese layers. And then when you do the toppings, you're just going to put a little bit of each of your toppings that you want on your pizza, spread out evenly on top of each of those little pizzas that you're making. Uh, you don't want to go crazy with too many of the toppings, especially the fruits and vegetables. 
uh, when those cook, those release some liquid or water from the vegetable, and that can make your pizza soggy. So just a little bit of a topping sprinkled on there is what you want to do. When you are all the way done with your toppings, you want to make sure that, again, those are evenly spread out. You want to have a little bit of topping in each of your bites. And last to go on top is a little bit of the cheese. So you're going to have your cheese, toppings, then more cheese. After you're done with one tray, you can move on to the other and do the same thing you did as before. So cheese to start. After the cheese, you'll do your toppings and then you'll end with the cheese again. Try to get all of your cheese and toppings onto the pizza itself and not all over your tray. Um, if you did use foil to line the cookie sheets for your tray, that will help with cleanup, but you want to eat all of that yummy food and not let it burn on your pan. So try to get all of your toppings onto the pizzas itself. I like to customize my pizza toppings for the people in my family. So for me, I like to have pineapple and olives on my pizza. So those two in the middle there are for me. Uh, my husband doesn't want the pineapple on his pizza this time, so those other ones there are going to be for him. He's a big fan of olives, so you got to watch out for olive stealers. Whatever toppings you are using, make sure that those have been cut pretty small. Uh, and if you get all of those cut up ahead of time, you don't have to worry about stopping partway through to get your work done. So if you have your mise en place done ahead of time, so remember mise en place is everything in its place. So I had all my toppings ready to go so that we can just have a little pizza assembly line. And like we did with the last pizza, we're topping it with cheese. You could also sprinkle some of your spices on top of the pizza. Any of those spices that you, we put in the sauce would also be delicious to have on top of the pizza. All right, now we are ready to go into the oven. Whenever you're baking something, make sure you preheat it ahead of time. This time we're doing 400 degrees. You're gonna place one cookie sheet on each rack of your oven. The tortillas will cook a lot faster. So those will probably be done in 10 to 15 minutes. Whereas the English muffins and bagels will be done in about 15 to 20 minutes. The tortillas came out first, so those had a chance to cool down. And you can use a pizza cutter and a cutting board to slice those up. Since it's a tortilla with the pizza, you're essentially making a pizza and quesadilla combined. So it's a pizza dia. And then using your oven mitt to help with that hot pan, you can remove your bagels and English muffins from the pan onto your cutting board to cool down. Once those have cooled down a bit, then you can eat your delicious creation that you made. Enjoy!